the question is how I do field work. Um, so this has a really funny history to it, which is, like I said, I began this whole project really looking at social media. And there's some things that are really important to know in the history of sites like Friendster or sites like MySpace. First off, MySpace was a technical disaster. Um, it was built on um, Cold Fusion, for, for, again, for any of the geeks in the room, is a really horrifying thought of a not stable technology. Um, but the, And I say this having worked at Macromedia. Um, but the thing that was really, <laughs> I know it all too well, um, but the thing that was really interesting about the implementation of those is that user IDs or unique identifiers were actually created um, in order, right, in numerical order, which means that if you knew the entire range of accounts, you could do a random sample. Um, and that's actually what I used to do, is that I would actually log in every day and make certain that I was looking at random accounts and get a full random sample of the spectrum with MySpace. And that could be done with MySpace, and Facebook was a lot more technically sophisticated, so it was hard to do that. So I built out this beautiful map of what I was seeing in terms of content, and then I was thinking about how do I make certain that I can interview and engage people in light of what I was seeing um, in this environment. Um, and this project um, emerged and had sort of different pro time periods to it. So part of it was also getting through, for those academics in the room, getting through the Institutional Review Board, um, which was its own game of entertaining fun. Um, and so I actually spent a lot of time hanging out with teenagers in after school programs, volunteering, doing different things, listening and learning before I actually started formally interviewing, uh, before I started formally collecting data. When I went and started wanting to interview young people one on one, I, it was post the beginnings of um, moral panics about sexual predation online, I couldn't reach out to young people directly online. So I did in many ways traditional ethnographic recruiting. I spent time for this project in 16 different US states um, in a variety of uh, um, urban, suburban, and semi-rural environments. I hung out in all the public places that I could get access to that young people were hanging out in, which by the way meant a lot of really bad Mickey D's food. Um, and um, I would also spend time in schools, after school programs, I spent a lot of time you know, at football games and other sporting activities, observing, talking to young people. And then I conducted um, 166 semi-structured interviews that were meant to sample across a variety of different populations based on the modeling that I had done um, through social media. Um, and then I would continue iterating um, and making certain that I was diversifying different young people's um, uh, approaches um, throughout all of it. So it was sort of this really weird project because it was in some ways a straight anthropological ethnographic project, but always complemented by um, having a lot of this information and material online. I also did a lot of content analysis over the years of any public media that I had access to, um, which was pretty amazing to be able to sort of go back and forth. And then when I would meet with young people, they would show me a lot of their online material and help explain what was going on because one of the things I quickly learned is that uh, I could not interpret anything. I thought I'd understand what something meant, but I had no idea. Um, and that was also part of the fun is being able to learn and hear the backstories and build that trust.